Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk on the different grading system of the adenoid. Uh, as we know that there are different grading systems in the literature and we don't know which grading system we should follow because different authors have kept the grading system of their own. So the main talk of today is to give insight into the most valid and most important grading system of the adenoid, both endoscopic as well as extra grading. Now in this slide I will going to talk about the endoscopic grading system and this is according to Parikh et al. According to Parikh et al, adenoid staging system is based on the anatomic relationship between adenoid tissues and its surrounding structure like pomer, torus tuberis, which is also known as stent tube orifice, and the soft palate. The degrees of the endoscopic grading as per Eric is as follows. Degree 1, in the first degree, adenoid doesn't make any contact with the structure surrounded, surrounding it and there is the no air passage obstruction as shown in the figure you see degree 1 and the degree 2 there is the contact between adenoid and the torus tuberis whereas in degree 3 there is a contact between adenoid with torus tuberis and the pomer also and in case of degree 4 there is contact between the uh, adenoid with all the structure and even soft palate at rest and in this case the whole of the ear passage is completely obstructed next grading system is according to Cassano et al uh, in this slide, I want to show you uh, there is the structure at the top most right side uh, in which the we can see the structure of nasopharynx and uh, if you clearly see blue dash line which is recorded as sulpingopharyngeal fold and similarly white dash line you can see that is the pomer and the green dash line is sulpingopalatine fold as well as the yellow dash line is the shown by the soft palate and as per this grading system in the grade 1 adenoid tissue occupy the upper segment of the nasopharyngeal cavity that is nearly about 25% uh, or less than 25% and whereas in the grade 2 adenoid tissue is confined to the upper half less than or equal to 50% of the nasopharyngeal cavity with sufficient, sufficiently previous quena and uh, perfect visualization of the tube or ostium in the grade 2 also. Uh, according to Cassano et al, in this slide you can see in the grade 3 adenoid hypertrophy, adenoid tissue occupied about 75% of the nasopharynx with partial involvement of the tube ostium and uh, there is considerable obstruction of the coenal opening. Whereas in grade 4 adenoid hypertrophy, the adenoid tissue, it reaches the lower coenal border without allowing visualization of the tube ostium. That is, there is more than 75% block and you can see there is the hardly you can see any air column visible in this. Uh, endoscopic view of the adenoid. This adenoid tissue is completely occupying the nasopharyngeal opening. As per the extra grading, uh, it is done according to Cohen and the Konak. You can see in this slide uh, spinoid bone, nasopharynx, uh, then the posterior nasal spine, a soft palate, and the ear column in between nasopharynx and soft palate. And this grading is done as per the ear column to soft palate ratio. And the soft palate measurement is done near about 10 meter away from the posterior nasal spine. And this is also shown in the x ray. Uh, you can see in this slide also. And uh, the, uh, as per this grading, uh, the adenoid is graded as small if the, if the ratio between the ear column and the soft palate is more than or equal to 1. Likewise, it is graded at the medium if the ear column to soft palate ratio is 0 0.5 to 1. Similarly, it is graded as large if the ear column to soft palate ratio is less than 0 0.5 because as the ear column to large soft palate ratio decreases, then the size of the adenoid becomes large and the large. Next extra grading is according to Kurian M. et al. And in this, the size of the adenoid is graded. It is according to palatal airway measured from the most convex point of the adenoid tissue to the soft palate. And the narrowest distance between the nasopharyngeal soft tissue and the soft palate was taken into account. And in the grade 1, the distance is more than 6 mm, whereas in grade 2, it is 4 to 6 mm, and in grade 3, it is 0 to 3 mm. And in the grade 3, the airway is nearly about occupied by the adenoid tissue. Thank you everyone for watching this video. And if you want to know about the different ENT diseases, recent advances, and different uh, ENT videos, then please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.